Hello, I'm Annika. Welcome to Black Dream Escapes Lullaby Session, Saturday, April 25th, 2020. What else? Sunny day here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining me if you are watching this at a later time. And for whoever has to come in while I am doing the thing that we do, thank you. Today we are going to talk about building a black and rested future. And I am going to guide you through that imagery with a meditation script. And I have two lullabies that we always sing on an intro lullaby and an outro lullaby. And this might be longer than our usual programming. We go about 15 minutes today, it might be a little longer. So again, if you're going back and watching this to see the introduction, sit back, relax, uh, let me guide you through what it might be like to be black and rested in the future, especially around this time. It's a great activity to do, um, to imagine what the future would be like for yourself and what a rested future especially would feel like, would sound like, all those things. That's what we're going to do today. I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to start with the intro, Lullaby, and the ukulele here. And if you are just joining me, which I think one person just did, thank you. You can use this intro lullaby time to get a drink of water, um, get some lotion, whatever you need to do to get comfortable and make sure in the next 15 minutes or so you don't need to get up or you won't be distracted. And again, today we are doing a guided meditation concerning being black and rested in the future, the future, the future, uh, which is an uncertain thing at all times, but especially now. So I thought it might be cool to walk you through uh, a script of what your black and rested future would look like. And before we do that. We always do a breathing exercise before we get into a meditation. So I am going to do our four, seven, eight breath today. And we're just gonna do three cycles of that, um, again, to get you prepared for this rest activity. And the four, seven, eight breath is holding in for four, um, breathing in for four, excuse me, holding in for seven and releasing for eight. And I'm going to walk you through three cycles of that. So close your eyes, get comfortable, and I'll begin. Breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And make sure that last breath is a big whoosh. Even making the sound helps. And we're on to our second cycle. Breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And release for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is our last cycle. So checking in with your body before we do this last breath. Um, making sure that your shoulders are loose, that your back has released some tension, um, your toes are loose, 
Just check in with those points in your body. And here's our last cycle. Breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And release for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last breath, big whoosh. And now check in again, making sure that you've released some tension, that you feel a little calmer. If while I'm doing the meditation script, you feel like you need to do another cycle, feel free to do that. Uh, this is your time. This is your rest practice, even if just for a few minutes. So, uh, hello. So let's begin. Um, again, close your eyes. You can either follow the meditation script or just use my voice as a guide through whatever rest practice that you would like to do at this time. Here we go. Sitting back and listening to my voice. We will begin. Keep close by me as we consider you. Discovering the deep parts of yourself means fully understanding how you operate. Let's take a minute to decipher between what is really you and what are your defenses. Quite possibly, the real you is not perfect, someone who makes mistakes, human. And in your future self, you can be this person, taking risk without severe punishment, resting because you are not a machine. Crying because you are not allowed and someone is there to hold you. Think about your current presenting self. No judgment if the image of yourself in your head is blurry. Just try and see yourself doing your daily things, waking up, typing, eating. Imagine that you are looking at yourself doing these things. Maybe you're watching from the wall or you're sitting right next to yourself. Watch yourself get up in the morning, doing your thing. Watch yourself go about your day. Imagine yourself as you usually are. Now imagine yourself, you and you, alone in a narrow alleyway. Watch yourself, pay attention. Now think about letting go all of the factors that prevent you from living out your commandments, the things that you live by. Imagine internalized lessons on productivity shedding off, replacing them with values of rest. Look at this person before you and think about all the injustices that get in the way of our black future, such as an imposed fixation on the concept of whiteness, rigid concepts of success, the different demons of oppression, anything that prevents society from being livable. See these concepts shedding, tearing away. They form layers on your skin. And let me help you scrape them off. And they are away, and they are away, and they are away. They wouldn't go without a fight. I am here with you, and we are doing this together. Now see this person standing in an open field. The alleyway is widened. Plants have stepped in, the air is sweeter. Who are they now? What is their future like? How are they resting? This person is you. Think about your commandments by any means necessary. This is you, your black self, in the future, having shed the things normally out of your control with a kind and considerate guide. Maybe this future self is still a little blurry. Take a minute to fill in the details. Letting yourself get comfortable with the new parts of you. Think about why you are here. Are you tired? Do you want to go into your future tired? What about the things around you need to change? What about your environment must go and what must stay? Think about your open field and you playing in it, having all of your commandments acknowledged, having it made, made it to this new black future. As your future black self, what are you like? Staying close to me, imagine a different version of yourself. 
Think about yourself as a young black child in a good moment. If your childhood brings up struggles for you, think about an example of your definition of a happy childhood. In this moment, if you feel triggered, please know that you are allowed to weep and you're encouraged to feel free to step away from the meditation at any point. Again, who is this child? What makes them present the way they are? Consider how you and this child are similar. What do you all have in common? What are the differences, seen, differences between you two? If you are thinking about yourself as a child, be mindful of how you've changed. If you are thinking about someone else's child, think about how you are different from them as an adult. Now imagine yourself as this child. See the environment through their eyes. What kind of world did you think it would be before you learned about oppression? What did you want to do as an adult? What hopes did you have for yourself? Your commandments, the things you live by, are probably more connected to this child's view than you first imagined. When you saw the world fresh, you saw your ideal future. I bet that's where there's a point, some point in your young life where black and future was not a complicated concept. Possibly the people around you were in your future living the way that they intended to live. You were smiling at some point. You were soft and free. You have already been your future. And this means if as a child, you wanted to be a writer like Alice Walker, then you were probably creative, observant, astute, comforted in your blackness, willing to take your time. Think about your child self and consider how they saw you black and rested in the future. Imagine one final version of yourself. Think about as clearly as you can see your whole future self. Imagine exactly how you want to be. How does this person face injustice? What are their commandments? How do they rest? How do they present themselves to the world? Imagine all the parts of this person coming together. Think about the environment they are in. What does it smell like? What does it taste like? How are things around them? This future self is you in present form. This is you with autonomy over your body and personhood. This is who you are. Without influence from messages in the outside world, without others' expectations, it is just you. It is the world you have created for you and the people you want around you. We have stripped oppression away from your body. Your skin is now shining, absorbing light. It's rested. This is all you. Take a few moments to experience you. Now, let's get intimate with this self. Put them on. Cinch them to your bones. Massage them into your mind. Hold them close. Melt into your new environment. Find the textures you adore and hold them close. Black and rested in the future. Feel rest and calm. All you, your future black self. You can take this self along with you knowing that this is who you've always been. And thank goodness you all finally met. Your commandments, the things you live by, child self, present self, future self, they are all shiny and are rested. I'm here with you and wow, you were so kind to these parts of yourself. 
You act so beautifully in this future. People are so good to you in this future. You are comforted in your blackness in this future. Now you are all together, black and rested in the future. It's time to come to, to arise from this lullabyception. Keep your future self in mind as you shift from this space to the next. Tap your fingers on the ground, sending a message to your hands and arms to come back. Wiggle your toes, awaken your feet and legs. Feel your muscles start supporting you and energy washing over you. Slowly open your eyes and just sit. Look around and recall where you are. When you completely come to, force yourself on your guides at the front of the room, which is me. Keeping your future self black and rested in the future, close to your heart. And that is the end of the script. You can now sit back, keep sitting back, and listen to the outro lullaby. You have the opportunity to open your eyes, um, reflect on anything that stood out to you in that script. Here we go. for giving yourself this time to rest. I hope you continue your practice after this video, but if not, just be grateful to you for doing this thing that you just did. Sweet dreams. Have a good night. Rest easy.